The Fiji Islands, where jet setters like to take their vacations at luxury hotels. We take a look behind the scenes at how local island inhabitants spend their days. Not far from the airport on the main island, there is a small river flowing south, and right next to it, a poverty-stricken settlement. Most ground floor housing has been abandoned. Dinesh, whose parents came here from India, owns an upholstery store, which he runs from the upper level of the building. I used to work from down before, but all this flooding area, you know, I faced a lot of problems. I lost a lot of things from down. Everything washed away. So it's better for me now, rainy weather like that, I walk from up. The series of disasters began in 2012, when Category 4 Cyclone Evan hit. Fiji had never experienced this much rain. The area surrounding Korovutu became a lake district. There was just too much rain for the local stream. Dinesh takes us there. He shows us the shore, which is much higher than usual, increasing the damage. This is where things went wild with flash flooding. Uh, last two years back was a very bad one. It was the worst one we saw it. It's a very bad one. Yeah. It, uh, it happened in, uh, so fast that we even couldn't move our things. We were trapped inside the house. The water just blasted the bang and just came in. Shh. In 2016, there was a Category 5 cyclone named Winston. This was the worst storm ever to hit Fiji. Here, cyclones are out of the ordinary. The Pacific Ocean seemed to be going out of control. The locals on Fiji are now concerned about the extreme heat of the summers. During Cyclone Winston, the temperature on the water's surface reached up to 30 degrees Celsius. During the storms, the rivers rose and spread steadily across the island, thus wreaking even more havoc after the storm. Provisional bridges were built in Korovuto, but because of climate change, no one knows if the floods will return and possibly be even worse. The residents here may be forced to move elsewhere, but they can't afford to do so. Our tenant on top, we, go, we went there. And after that, it was a big, big flood on top. And nothing inside the house again. No more thing, no more clothes. Everything, nothing left. That's a big flood. Our bed, the fridge, everything lost. Climate change is making life here dangerous, and not only along the coast. Dinesh has experienced this firsthand. The violent storms and heavy rainfall transformed their stream into a raging river that destroyed the neighborhood.